you know I'm gonna get ya. Violent schizophrenia. You know I'm gonna get ya. Get ya. Get ya. Get ya. Get ya. You know I'm a star. And we're back. So I think the best thing to I do. I was now... traveling deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps, like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse looming over me. I already read this. Especially the part of the skull turning into a crater. I let it somewhere else already. And I don't mean in my previous run, I mean in this run. It's fine.
Onko täällä ketään? Ahti. <tos> Sanovat, se joka varjoon tyytyy, valon ihmeestä paitsi jää. <tos> Tuhlaaja puhel paluu. Ja häntä kuivien välis. <tuhu> Tuliko hakemaan anteeksi anta? Uutiset mistään paluusta ovat ennenaikaisia. Tulin vain käymään. Ja nyt kun muistan millaista tämä touhu täällä on. En viivy kauaa. Missä veljesi luuraa? Pisti hengiltä. Rupes käymään aivoa se aina länkytys. Uhrilla ja mestarilla. Mutta ei se paskaveli kelvan edes siihen. Sä olit mestarin valittu. Vaikka mä koskaan ymmärtänyt, että miksi. Miksi palasit? Kun kerran lähdit? En aikonut. Mutta nyt löydän itseni täältä. Nyt on kai kirottu. Kirjoitettu sadistisen kirjailijan tarina. Hienän kehää. Maa on syklinen laulu. Miten siellä valtion kontrollivirastossa menee? Väärä virasto. En ole siellä töissä. Sitä paitsi. Sain potkut. Ei olisi tarvetta talomiehen apulaiselle. Ei ole. Tämän tilan isäntä katosi yön selkää vuosia sitten. Sen jälkeen kun sinä lähdit. 
Merkit on ilmassa, että multakin loppuu hommat pian. Siksi kyselen virastosta. Ehkä saan sieltä töitä. Riitti vie sinut tuon puoleiseen. Sanotaan, että Aleen kurkotti liian pitkälle yön syövereihin. Eikä löytänyt sieltä enää pois. Kannattaa varoa sitä Aleen mustaa leskeä. Taisit olla vähän heikkona hänen. Pelkäsin häntä. Me pojat oltiin aina vähän toivottomia naisten kanssa.
Kiitti vie sinut tuon puoleiseen. Hän palaa. Ja sinut lukitaan huoneessa. En kierrä kehää. Tämä on spiraali. So, I have my theory about this and then... Uh, yeah, well. I think it's a fear that maybe it's not exactly the best, but what I think is that there's no... How the hell am I supposed to leave this? Oh, okay, for me. So that is the study that Zane wrote to get out of the dark place. So I don't then go into here. Oh well, not a big deal. Well, I did play enough, so... I'll stop for now, wickedly on another day. Hey there everyone, I'm back. So we need to go back. of this nightmare, but I'd damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. Um. I'm kind of sorry for them, actually. It doesn't say what this is. Alright.
No? Okay. Oh, do I just need to... Yeah. Alright. Television. Start to restart, huh? The hell am I? Okay, here. This is the only entrance to this door. Unless. Wild idea. Why would they give me access here? like somebody was following me but maybe not hey Alan it's good to see another sane face not sure how sane I'm feeling <clears throat> be careful out there Tim if you see me make sure it's really me not some psycho wearing my face sounds like you've been having a rough go I've been there the missing time the aliens? Missing time? It's the same thing I've been saying. The dreams. It's sometimes I wake up in a completely different place missing entire days. I have no idea what happened, but I'm trying to find out. Things always get better if you just keep moving forward, Alan. Wait. What's this about aliens? Oh, uh... I was just convinced that everything going on with me was because of aliens. Abductions, signals beamed into my head, that kind of thing. Now I know it's been Dor all along. I haven't ruled out him being an alien, though. Good. Let's see if there is... No, there is nothing more. Uh, I did meet him somewhere else, though, last time, when he wrote all this stuff. And in effect, it seems like there's more room here to write more. Oh, 
What's that? Map? Thank you. I said there was something in there, but I did take everything. Okay, now that us, there are more enemies, of course. them are not even there. I'm not sure I understand. Sometimes it seems like they are not even there. Freaking weird. <coughs> Anyways. Parliament Tower again. These guys are gonna catch me still the way. Just getting ready just in case. Hopefully it won't come to that, but if they really wanna have a fight, then we'll have it. My memorial statue had been replaced by a statue of Alice. It felt sick in me. Her life threatened to scratch. I had to hurry. Hello? Hello. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. The dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? Okay. How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. In a different point in time, I thought of the steps he laid out for me. Alan. Alice's photos from the talk show building basement. Adi had guided me there. I put the photos to the shoebox by the steps. <laughs> Very happy with the frame rate, guys. I must tell you, I'm not very happy with it. So, let's see what happens. Oh no, wait.
didn't wanna run. I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different. Like my last chance. If it wasn't already too late. And I also put all the photos also... Wait a second. Wait a second. This is important. I shouldn't... Rush it. I see the items I collected, god damn it. Anyways. There's more of these. There was a way. Yeah, items. Knife? Why do I still have it? Well, I'm empty. Well, I'm checking because you know. I think I should. But yeah, it's all empty, and once again, the rooms don't really align anymore. At least, she did some work, and then I don't know, took it out. I have no idea. in there writing his horror story there was still time to stop him i needed to get inside all right let's do this
on end. Like a nightmare I can't wake up from. I thought I could contain Ellen in my photos, but I can't. The monster just keeps coming back. Every night. Like waves hitting the shore. I'm... I'm so tired. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. made a decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist. But I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. Dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. <laughs> I've seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her.
with the song and the clicker. But he didn't end up here now. He landed on the shore after I faced Nightingale in the overlap. I found Wake here. He appeared because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it. And blast it with all you got. Oh god, this is the part I love the least. Fast. Fast. And send him down with gunfire for me to get the light on it. On it. Damn. Anderson, we lost power. Sagra. Or 
Island Saga. Official Tear Fest is cancelled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright. to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom! I'd seen it all play out, like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. They are going back in. Yeah, I know you're there. I'm just looking around. Welcome back, Wake. You are Wake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. 
Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The Shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. <laughs> What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. Try my best. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. Oh, this one opens up. Oh, I'm actually doing all right. Not too bad at all. Okay. May not have to run around like a headless chicken this time. Very, very curious to check up there. I was awake again, clear headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left a dark forest outside Bright Falls, a gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other, haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. Yep. <clears throat> it makes it sound rather easy, but... I think there were some uh, enemies on the... I mean, I know... Oh my god, wake the first. <sighs> the first person in your way. Okay. We got a little heavier now.
I think I kind of made my point. I wanna go to see that thing. Oh, I can go. Yeah, they closed the other way around. Okay, fine. Wait. Yeah, it's open. God is not as strong as it should be. Saga is much more resistant. I don't know why it turned around that way, but thank you for the scare. Uh, I needed to feel a little scared. Oof, okay. There's more people around here. Sorry. Let me let me reload this for a second. I think I've been clear enough. In the dark place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it, getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was haunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. It turned me into scratch. Yep, that sounds accurate.
Okay. I had to get to Bright Falls. See this through to the end. Okay, let's go then. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead. Because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it didn't make me any less terrified. Fuck it. is not what I expected. Let's have a little walk. The unanswered mystery is what stays with you the longest. Who's the awesome? All the ideas they had. The stage fight scene in Departure is one upped by the absolutely mind frying Dark Ocean Summoning. These are all people that uh, I've seen around. This one looks a lot like Sarah Breaker, actually. Or maybe I just don't remember it well. One of those two. That's Elmo. I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. It's a sick, sick story. Oh, I Shit. Come on. No, and he stays. What the hell is going on? We got stuck in nothing. <laughs> okay. I know this is not how the study goes. Um, f thank you for telling me. Let's 
still trapped in a loop as well. <sighs> Will you do this? I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go to rewrite the ending of her turn. It's a sick, sick story. Oh, No, it doesn't go. I don't understand what is wrong. It wouldn't cross the door. Okay, finally. I had the book now. I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. I don't understand what happened there. I needed to reach the writer's room, write a new conclusion, was Scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise. Alice? Yep. What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? I have no weapons, no nothing, so... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to go as is. Go a little itchy. He's very pushy. Rose, right? Yeah, he is very From the pushy. Diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. 
So Rose is here, but she's like, she should be here. We are inside an overlap. How did she manage? Is she also like? What's his name? Oh, the TV is not here anymore. Upstairs, the writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. Will Uparaga uh, come to Keter, Tom? I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest pulp. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm. Now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti. Won't he talk to me anymore? Don't even as if they don't exist. Okay, then <coughs> next, then. Oh, I have forgotten this now. Leo. I was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. I'm just looking at all because I'm trying to understand. Okay. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. Tomorrow's story, they're only victims and monsters. The ending has to fit the genre. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance.
Let's see. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. going on am i in the field office no <clears throat> and now we go place. we go through one of the most probably the um boring parts where is everything my work it's all gone what the hell is happening? I can't sense anyone. Nothing's working. I can't think straight. I can't leave. Why can't I leave? Because you're trapped. The dark presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? Oh, that is you. Just that. What? Failed who? What's happening to the case board? Well, nothing really, just, you know, going nuts. I don't even remember... ...in which sequence I'm supposed to do this. Oh, profiling. The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Is it, though? Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. Okay. We're down here. Something's very fucking wrong here. You reckon? Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. I am a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. It's all fine. The story. 
My life, my family is just part of a book. But also, Another white was... asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. Wait a second. Scratch. He's uh, okay. using Casey now. Like he used Wake. Okay, then. This is gonna be very freaking boring, guys. She's not dead. God damn it. Yep. I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to put it back, but a few. As you can see, the peak becomes blacker and blacker. No! I'm done with this! It just keeps coming back! Yes. What's happening? Uh, are, you, are you asking me what's happening? Look at it. Casey was being corrupted and I did nothing. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? Well, it wasn't that. I mean, why did you let me drown? We all fell for it. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. I never should have trusted these. Why this? This case. This room, is any of it even real? Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. This isn't... What? What is this? I don't know. It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my... Fears, my doubts, my yep. insecurities. We all are. What? No. Yeah. Okay, let's have another look around. I spent too much time away from Logan. It's a bit I'm of a pain, really. I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. Logan. The horror story used her. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. It was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. Not really, but... Okay. What the hell? It's true, though. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts, focus on the case, but I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning, 
I need a way out before I'm dragged under. I can't do this. Yes. Fine. So. It got me the first time, it got me the second. Oof. Okay. No. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh god. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. I don't remember this from the first time. I'm not time. getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. Oh! The lights. No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Online and it made me think of you. Okay, what are you doing? Don't make a big deal out of it, Mom. No hugs, no hugs. Cannot be skipped either. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made Casey stay behind. It would have taken him anyways. A knife in the arm is just, just part of the part job. Of the job. You're going to keep fussing, you can get the hell out. <laughs> the death, the death, leave the whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Oh, really, Anderson? The salt shaker? We've come to this? You loosen the top while I was getting the napkins? <laughs> Didn't you? Didn't you? Ah, it's in my pockets. It's 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 in my shoes. Stop 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 laughing. All right. I don't know. I just I, I do understand what they were trying to do. But no, it's, it's not you think it up. I'm sorry. Hey, hey. Just calling, just calling to say to thanks for your note. note. Oh, sometimes, sometimes I just, I just get in my head, in my head, too, head much. too much. So, so thanks for pulling me out. out. You're really You're the best, really boss. Really. really. Okay. okay. Talk soon. Talk soon. My badge. Never should have taken this case. Again, you're not looking at things from the right perspective. No, I'm not reading anymore. I am honored by the support. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, 
It's the most important work there is. This was just a month before Jesse arrived at the oldest house. Hey mom, I made you a charm bracelet for good luck. I made a matching one for me, so bring me back something cool from Washington. Is everything well lit again? It would seem like it. I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Fuck, no! No, this is all real. I know it is. The FBI will kick me out. I'll have nothing. Casey trusts me. I know he does. It kind of did. I'll just yeah. let him down again. What the fuck? Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter. And she's not dead. She's dead! She's dead! It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. Yeah. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving, we all are the worst judgment, uh, the worst judge of character to ourselves. Other way, we don't like it. We don't like ourselves. It's okay to be afraid, but I can't let this end here. I can't. I can't. I can't. I just, I just want it to stop. Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. I'm so close. The dark place wants me to hate myself. But I just need to get inside my own head. Okay. I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. And I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid. It will hurt. But nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt. But I will fight. Dead action available. How do I leave? By The dark leaving. place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. They all came back. The dark presence leeches onto artists, oh, manipulates finally. their art. What power does it have by itself? No power, I suppose, actually. Oh, the last were manuscripts. Oops. Okay, let's get that. Wait a second. No. Okay. Let's.
Saga, wake up. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. What are you guys doing here? Why don't you talk to me? Things have changed. At least, I haven't seen them before. They haven't left yet. But they won't talk to me. Team. Agent Anderson. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orland Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... <laughs> well, it feels like a long time now. Who is this door person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like, there were many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. It describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Here. I'm gonna keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Warland Dor walked across the rain-slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. Let's read it properly. Warland Dor walked across the rain-slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. The rain didn't seem to touch him. He sensed his steps were being observed, documented into the story. He allowed it, this one time for this one reason to be passed on by his unwilling disciple to read at the right time. The ocean that was the dark place took the shape of New York City, drawn for the mind of Alan Wake, in part for the writer to navigate his prison, in part to torment him as he struggled to find his way out. Dor was not bound by the rules as Wake was. He came and went as he pleased. For now, Dor entertained the writer's fantasy. 
for a purpose known only to him. At the edge of the plaza, he stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. Another part of Wake's fiction. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I'm very curious to do that. But actually, that's exactly what I do. They just won't talk to me. I'd like to know why, but... I don't really think that is a real explanation for... Well... Any of this. Plus, this place is trying to swallow me whole. Sorry, I I've never really had a proper look around here. So there are quite a few things that they actually didn't find or didn't do at all. Okay then. Let's. See the echoes like Alan did. But well, I guess that is by design. I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. Uh, I'm starting to think that by the amount of uh, batteries it's giving me. Probably not an easy fight. Also, why do I have the those ammo, but I don't have the shotgun? Okay. Enough already. <laughs> That's probably not the best. Oh, I don't have a map here. Okay, I don't have to charge forward because if I remember well, Alice is gonna call me again.
There's the shoebox. The clicker. And some kind of bullet. Shining a light. How did the clicker get this information? Uh, Saga, would you mind? You too? Just here, doing nothing, okay. Wrong. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. know the clicker would be there. This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? Okay. Oh, we do some I'm in the dark place. From here. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. Saga, what is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real. Just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. <sighs> this may take a while. <clears throat> so there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. Language. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. That's the idea. Yep. So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of him. Why does it feel like they changed the lore of the first game? Because he says that it ruined Alex's life by writing the books about him. But when he was in New York writing those books, he was a completely normal person. Per se, Alan has no powers. 
All the powers are all the dark presence. He, he had nothing. His writing becomes true because of the dark presence, not because of. And if you get that, that's the rules of the dark presence. That's how it works. He's got no powers. And now, they, it seems like almost they changed that. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes, that's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. Okay, let's carry on. This isn't Scratch's ending, but this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero, too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. Oh, true. We need to talk to Dor. This is the first time I've seen a page about Warlandor. Who is he? A door that stands between two rooms is in both. A door that can lead anywhere is everywhere. That door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this, it's hard to know who's playing who. Opening too many doors. <laughs> this isn't important right now. I can look into it later. No, you cannot. The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces and many names. It is a mirror. Reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities. Here and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare, maybe I can find a way to get back home. Anybody else? No. Even though it feels like there is one missing. But that's me and my idea of you know, Simity, I suppose. I need to retrace my steps back to Caldera Street Plaza. I arrived in the dark place through the fountain. Maybe I can leave that way too. If only those two were talking to me. But they don't seem to want to. Caldera Plaza is back through the subway. I have to hurry. Anyway, yeah, I got those... Those ammunition, but no weapon.
something you probably weren't told about Saga. She's pretty, she's pretty good at shooting. Would have liked to find that weapon again, but nope. Good to see you. So, will you talk to me or? Glad is it we just caught this? you, kiddo. We missed you first time around. First time? We've been performing on door show. We finally buried the hatchet. I haven't buried shit, bro. <laughs> We're just helping Tom. Time for a dip in the fountain. I'm leaving the dark place. Come with me. Our time back there is done. But you got this, dear Saga. Adi has set up a puddle for you to swim out of. Once more with feeling. I wish we'd gotten more time together. This isn't goodbye, kiddo. Tom told us not to say anything about what's coming. But we'll see each other again. Okay. I'm gonna I hold you to that. Let's see if I can swim back out. Oh, I'm definitely gonna hold you to that, guys. All right. Alan? Saga. I finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker. And the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I see it clearly now. This part at least. Okay. We have met here before. Time loops in the dark place. Every choice you make affects everything that comes before and after you make it. He's here. Like it does when you change a detail in a story you're writing. Casey? The end. Scratch! out of the crater of my skull. The dark presence was born from the remains, feeding on the horror around it to grow. It found me writing. It tapped into me. Influenced me. I was lost in my work. The link was severed when I finished return, but the dark presence was hungry for more. And I was missing the small part of myself that it had been born from. Alice, love is strange. Even apart, we're still together in our memories. We put each other through hell to set us free. Again and again. Different versions of us. Alice helped me get there. Where I needed to be. It has taken so long. The process to change reality is so delicate. To be true in just the right way and still find a way past our flaws. So many drafts, so many photographs, so many lives lived outside of time. An eternity apart on this journey to finally arrive here. Logan? Logan? Are you all right? I had a terrible nightmare. Can you come home, Mom? Oh, baby. It's over now. You're all right. I'm here. I'm on my way home. I love you. She's all right.
the ending worked. Scratch is gone. At last. Thank you, my love. And so I return. With me, I bear the torch of knowledge, the light, the miracle illuminated, the master of two worlds. No, the master of many worlds. Well, people, now we saw the true ending. Um, I don't know. I got the feeling something or went wrong anyways. They didn't say it out loud, but I think somebody is still in the dark place at the end. Most probably Alice. Even though Alan said they would like, wanted to save Alice. But I don't know at this point. Don't know what to think. Either way, lore will be coming, um, don't know how soon, but um, I will put down some lore videos as well. There is also an external project with a friend which is gonna come through eventually, sooner than later, I hope. And um, yeah, once again, thank you very much for this adventure we've been going through together, even though you're now here with me to keep me company with this game can be very scary okay and uh, yeah well i did it that's the important bit <laughs> catch you soon guys and uh, stay glued to the screen because yeah more videos are coming don't know what don't know what's the next but more videos are coming bye everyone <laughs>